Hi everyone, happy Monday. Thanks to all who worshiped with us online and in person. Um, we enjoyed having you with us. I wanna take a moment to address our current mask policy. Uh, we continue to ask that you wear masks, that all um, who attend worship on Sunday mornings wear masks. Um, we know that there are many of you who are vaccinated. We know that there are probably people in attendance who are not, namely our children. And um, so we, uh, in lengthy discussion um, with, with staff and leadership team, um, we stand by this policy uh, knowing that it is the one that uh, enables the most people to feel safe coming into worship. And so um, despite the fact that 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 the mask wearing is a barrier uh, for some of us. I know it can be difficult. Um, we do appreciate you working with us to make sure that all feel physically safe when they come into our space. Um, it also enables us to sing, and um, that's that's a big part of our worship. So um, that's important to us, and and we want to be in solidarity with with the children who who are in attendance. So we appreciate you being uh, patient with our mask policy and working with us to uh, to make sure that all feel safe here. Um, I want to mention that live prayer this week is actually going to be pre-recorded. Becky is on vacation and Keith is stepping in, um, but he, due to scheduling conflicts, he will be filming it on Tuesday afternoon. So if you'd like to submit prayer requests, um, please do so by Tuesday afternoon. Otherwise, know that those will roll over and be mentioned in prayer uh, on Sunday morning. So, um, so if they come in anytime after Tuesday afternoon, no, we won't quite get them for Wednesday, um, but they will be mentioned on Sunday morning. So uh, if you are not able to attend in person, um, there are still many ways to give. In fact, Nick is gonna list them right down here on the screen. The John Christie Fund is used to assist those who come in in financial crisis. Uh, we get people from the community uh, and, and sometimes occasionally people within the church who are in financial crisis and um, need a tank of gas or are, are, you know, clawing their way out of homelessness and um, the only thing in their way is a, uh, the security deposit on an apartment. And um, our John Christie Fund enables us to help those people uh, get back on their feet uh, and, and out of crisis. So uh, you can you can donate to the John Christie Fund specifically by putting John Christie in the memo line of your check uh, or on the envelope if you drop it in the offering. Um, so we encourage you to continue giving. That's what keeps us in business. Uh, finally, I want to make sure you all know about our new app, which is FUMC Way. I think if you search FUMC Waynesville, it will come up. Um, but download the app. It has the most up-to-date information about what is going on. Um, we also try to keep our website as up-to-date as possible, and we recently revamped it, so if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. Um, but there you'll find information on upcoming events, such as uh, Keith's Forest Bathing Project. Uh, he'd love for as many of you who are interested to attend as possible. We have a church-wide rafting trip coming up on July 24th. Um, so on the app and on the website, those are places that you can register for that. Um, and then you can also use both of those avenues to order your fair trade. Um, fair trade orders continue to uh, be able to be placed online through the app and be picked up on Tuesdays here at the church. Well, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon. Like, share, subscribe and see you next time.